Alright, we're going to sneak another session of Civilization action in here. Um, here... Let's see... Oh, my mouse is acting up a bit there. Yeah, yeah, here I think we're just going to have our query series take SN, and the other units can move up to Hamburg. Um, but of course we are going to upgrade units. Okay. Guys that need to heal, yep, please heal. Uh, the rest of you, not the queers here, um, maybe start heading up towards Hamburg. Yeah, we'll take a few queers here out, maybe next turn, to get that city. Yeah, upgrade this guy too. That's San Martin, we go behind him. Just keep advancing with the troops. Oh, hey. Yeah, he doesn't have much in there. I don't know if I'm gonna risk those odds. Let's get the, um... Uh, the cultural defense down. Uh, I could plop a city over here. Yeah, this this would work. Uh, but let's chop that forest before we do it. We are going to just build random cities. Again, the thing is, every location is is going to help us because we have the power of the Nipa hut. That's just the way this works. Um, yeah, yeah. The settler next, but then you can keep building making queries here. So you're running the merchants, that's fine. Where are we at as far as the great people? Kazon City next turn, and then it's going to be Posik, apparently. Uh, quite some time after that. Uh, that's right, Troy was on wealth. We wanted to do that to get the, the tech. That's fine. We have wonderful, wonderful vassal. <laughs> That's right. The Philippines' mighty Troy and the indigenous Haima people of the Pacific Northwest are united in solidarity against the evil fascism of literally Hitler. Yep, Adolf Hitler. We're going to wipe him out. Because fascism is bad, kids. Don't do fascism. Not even once. Um... Yeah, run over here. I'll, I'll decide whether I want to take you north or south. Yeah, not much to see there. I've got a settler wandering down here. I should probably, yeah, make sure there isn't something. Where's the settler? Okay. Alright, it should be alright. It should be alright. At least if those bubbles are correct. They won't, they won't end the turn in a very dangerous place. Uh, yeah, why not? Just take out that guy, because I can. Uh, this knight can heal with the super healer. Uh, yeah, sure, um... I guess we mine that and then road back. Well, we'll do the road first. We'll do the road first. Needs to be king. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Are we working this? Ew. Ew, we shouldn't work that. Oh, that's nasty. Let's, let's not do that. Farm this. Even a plains farm is better than that. Alright, so a settler here. Let's see, which one was I thinking about? I have a few places where I need to plop a city. Um, like, we're already building one here. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, could go here. Or maybe here. Or even here. 
Yeah, there's this too. Again, this this is a terrible, terrible spot. But with the Nipa Hut, all you need to do is like Nipa Hut, boards, you know, if you got coast, build a lighthouse. And then you can just build wealth for the rest of the game and, you know, it'll it'll do our economy good. I think maybe. Yeah, yeah, okay. We are sending this settler here. We're going to get the rest of that sea. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, do we really need three parasiers in here? Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't see a big, you know, Nazi stock just kind of marching through there. I don't see it, so... By the way, if we ran at 100%, what, what would that be like? Like, 0% is 245 beakers. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. The specialists. 1,300 beakers. Oh, that's beautiful. Of course, it's all expensive. It's very expensive. I could be building wealth. You know, just build wealth. And after we get the basic infrastructure in and, you know, a large enough army, that's exactly what we're going to do, I think, is build wealth in a lot of places. Like, all these little cities, of course. They're just going to get the basics up and build wealth. That's their job. And some of these other cities are going to uh, follow suit. We do really need to be starving here. No, we don't. We could work that. I mean, that's a good tile, but... Uh, I don't know if we can actually take any of the uh, tiles. Well, we could maybe... No, but then this city would starve. And this city only has one food surplus, so... Yeah, we don't have a lot... You know, this is very brown land. There's, there's not all that much green. It's better over here. Yes, it's better over here. We could fit another city, like, there. We could be full-on ridiculous. Just full-on ridiculous. Um... <laughs> yeah, we could do it. We could, like, give it, you know, have it pop its borders, and it could work. Well, it has the wheat! Oh, the, well, okay, that's a good enough city right there. In fact... Yeah, 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 that's, that's a city. That's not city question question, that's a city. And we're going to get the settler now. <laughs> Full on ridiculous mode. Um, very good though. Very, very good. Let's see, how's the tech situation look? Like, Astronomy is the only thing out there that I don't have that's fine. Uh, behind I have three gold per turn. I'm going to get more fur, and we might renegotiate some things. I can get dye and gems from my vassal, right? Like, he's got dye, he's got gems. I'll give him fur and, um... I don't know, fur and... <laughs> pig. <laughs> I have pig, so I don't really need to do this, huh? Yeah, I don't. Um, so when can I cancel this? Five more turns. So, like, six turns left on the uh, old Golden Age counter. Uh, we'll try and remember that. I can't do Alt-M for reminders. That's a bug mod thing. It's a real shame. I guess we have to slap something here, too. Um, just because it fits. That gets a triple question mark, though. <laughs> But again, with Nipa Huts, all things are possible. Um, can't we just slap something in the desert like this? It's not brilliant, but I mean... There's, there's copper here, you know, that's, that's something to work. That's something to work. So yes, we're going to settle a bunch of kind of marginal weird cities. Um, once they have the Nipa Hut, they are a-okay. They're actually quite mighty. Like, this city is... Um, I am paying quite a lot of maintenance. So after the forge, maybe we do want, like, a courthouse. Like, courthouse, lighthouse. Well, the lighthouse is probably more important, but... Forge, lighthouse, courthouse, and then wealth. 
that might be what we do. This guy gets the deep hut and the forge. Uh, again, we don't even really need a courthouse here. I mean, we could build one, but... We'll put a courthouse here. And we're actually mighty than... No, we're not going to be really working anything, are we? So just wealth. I mean, these are like these are like no food. There's no food here. There'll be like five or six commerce, right? Yeah, there'll be five commerce with the camp, and nothing else. That's not not really a good tile. It's good because it gets us resources we can trade. That's what this is for. <laughs> yeah, that's actually an okay spot with the wheat. This is what we're doing now. We're just going to settle these cities. We're, you know, we're still, again, fighting a war against fascism and all of that, but we're also going to slap down a bunch of cities that, if we were playing a normal game, would maybe not be worth doing. You know, maybe not till communism, anyway. But this is not a normal game. We are playing as, you know, Ferdinand Marcos of the Philippines in Seville, and we have the Nipahut, and that makes everything better. That's right, we're getting some merchants and starving, just the way I like it. Um, in fact, we're going to extra starve. Well, we're not going to starve that much. Let's not starve quite that much. But we're going to get a ton of points. Merchant points, because we kind of want a merchant. <laughs> well, hopefully this works. Um, yes, we're nuking the food box, but next turn we get the great person. Hopefully it's a good one. <laughs> oh, what a funny game. A cottage was destroyed. I don't know. Why would I why would I cancel my deals with Gorbachev? Um no, no, go away. You can be annoyed if you want. Um Oh, what do I want to do here? You know what? Passive espionage is not bad. I still can't see what Albania is doing. I'm generating 15 espionage points. We must be close, right? At 3.43, we can see our research. Okay. Yeah, and I'm, I'm really outpacing 2-2, two, two, so maybe I just do this. Yeah, sort of wait uh, Albania a little higher. Um, we've got workers over there helping with that city. We're going to want a worker over here. To help with that city. Um, what do we want to do with this? We have no food here. That's right, we wanted to farm this. It's sort of weak, but... San Martin has made peace with Pakal. Okay, it's just peace. Nobody vassaled or anything. Oh, wow. Lots of unhappy people. Yeah, yeah, relations are kind of rough. Um, let's see. Yeah, Cardenas does not like me. Neither does San Martin. Um, Tuda is not a fan. Hitler hates me. <laughs> Oh, man. Big fan of Tepuyon, though. <coughs> you know, one one thing about Civ Gold that's kind of fun is, you know, if you're just playing regular civilization with the regular standard leaders, you know, you know a lot about how they're going to play the game. You know, you know, for example, that, you know, Gandhi is not going to plot war at you, you know, if he's cautious or above. You know that, you know, Kathy, she can be bribed on you, even at friendly. You know, things like that. She won't, she won't plot on you on friendly, but she will potentially, she can potentially be bribed at friendly. It, you know, we, it's good to be able to know these things, but with these new leaders, I don't know these things. I could just open up the mod and look at the XML and, and, and see the values for the various, um, uh, you know, the various settings and figure it out for myself. But honestly, I'd rather do it through gameplay. Like, I, I saw from the start that Tutu, um, his opinion of Hitler, 
Yeah, plus two, a first impression is a lasting one. That means that they both have similar piece weight. And I can tell you right now that Adolf Hitler's piece weight is like the minimum. <laughs> so that means Tutu has a low pace, piece weight. We also know that he declares war because we've seen him do it. Um, so I know I need to be careful with this neighbor. Um, and I think, I think Hitler, I think they gave him like Montezuma's AI, like they copied a lot of Montezuma's features into his, his, uh, his definition. Because he seems to be like the warmonger who doesn't care about anything except building units. And whipping population. He seems to do a lot of that too. Um, let's see, let's, let's go take a peek at Essen. Yeah, even here he has like three units. But we're going to take it just with these cuirassiers. Um, yeah, we can shop that. That was the idea, right? Yep. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, help with this camp now. I'll finish the farm, that's fine. Okay, we get a scientist. Yeah. Not quite what we were looking for. Let's not starve, though. Uh, we need to work the food, obviously. And the cottage. And... Yeah, okay, farms. All the food, please. All the food. Um, okay, we have three food surplus doing this. We're just gonna run some more merchants, you know. We would like to get one. Hopefully the game does give us one at some point. So Posik. Oh, Posik. Going in five, going in nine, run another merchant. That's gonna take forever though, it really is. You know, anything there. Okay, Homburg. Um, we bombard. Oh wow, he's got castles. Lovely. Just what we want to see. Well, another turn of bombard, maybe we'll just attack, you know? Because we have Quirisiers, and Quirisiers are magic. Alright, these guys, they're just gonna kind of come and join. Why not? No, oh no, go to Berlin. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it would be nice to spread irrigation up here somehow, wouldn't it? It would be nice. Can we do it? This is almost a town. This is irrigated, and that's just a cottage. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, we'll do it through here. We'll do it through here. In fact, I'm going to make little notes. That will spread the irrigation that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This catapult, the times are almost done for catapults. But we have them. Um, yeah, you can be a queerist here. Why not? Keep healing. Trebin. Okay, nothing there. And you... Yeah, maybe you join up here. Maybe it's just three guys. I have six queers here. So yeah, that should be more than enough. That should be more than enough. Wow, over 1,100 beakers. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, anybody we could sell like a temp to? My map's not worth anything, is it? Yeah, I didn't think so. How about to my vassal? Oh, he doesn't have any money at all. I could get like spare resources from him. 
I could give him copper for like cow and deer or corn or whatever. I could do that. I don't know, not a lot though. Not a lot to see. That's a lot of money. A farm was destroyed. That's irritating. Like, they've been blowing up a couple cottages. Um, destroying a farm is, is pretty bad, though. Um, what do I want you to do? I have more queries here, sure. Alright, you have a forge. Tell you what, examine the city. Yeah, see, we don't even have that improved yet. Build a, a courthouse, and then just go ahead and build wealth, I think. Until I get Judaism in there. Oh, and a winery gets destroyed too. What? Oh, that's irritating. And where was that farm that got wrecked? Alright. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. If that's the way you want it to be. Uh, yeah, let's do something with that, uh, floodplain. Okay, just longbows and maces. Ouch. Come on. Wow. Really now? Really now? Oh, I just took everything, because why not? <laughs> okay, so we got rid of that forest, that's fine. We don't need that forest there. I guess we'll workshop this, we're here. Um... Yeah, the city's basically done, except it needs to be... Okay, it is hooked up. Oh, because of the river. Yeah, because of the river. So it's hooked up, that's good. Um, maybe... Let's fix the winery. Okay, so we got that wheat, that's nice. Uh, we'll just go straight for the Nipa hut there. Okay, get the religion, that's good. Is on city, maybe another missionary for these new cities would be nice. Uh, I don't know, this city seems to be doing fine without the farm, so let's just do the spreading irrigation thing. Yeah, stay there since nothing's there. Alright, bombard again. So how bad is it? Okay. There is a pike. We have a shot guy already. 
Ouch. There we go. Yep. Okay, so just one guy had bad odds. Oh, look where his great general popped up. How sad. We'll just kill it. There we go. Good job, everybody. You did your work very well. Um, everybody else just kind of pile in. Okay, very nice. Chop that, please. Yep, we'll build that. Badly needs a Nipa hut, of course. And we maybe want to, like, mine one of those. We'll do that, in fact. Yep, we'll carry on. Um, yeah, you might have something that can just kind of... Yeah, we don't want him flanking these guys. So maybe do that. Um... Get a couple upgrades. Yeah, a lot of upgrades actually. Very nice. Very, very nice. This is on flat ground. We might not even need, uh... Although, boy, these guys are kind of banged up. Let's get our mega healer up here. We might need the rest of it. <laughs> Popping borders. <laughs> very, very nice. Get two turns till we can break that trade off. Oh, uh, so we have the theatre. Uh, theatre. That's a nice courthouse, please. It's worth like eight gold. Uh huh. Queer's here. That's good. Go over here. Um, really? Come on. Okay, two badly wounded longbows. We can do this. Oh, gosh. Yay! That's way more expensive than it needed to be. <laughs> uh, these guys are just kind of a joke. Let's move these guys, please. Uh -huh. <sighs> okay, you can be promoted. As can you. Yeah, we can do a lot of healing with promotions, that's fine. Yeah, maybe we're alright doing this. I wonder if it'd be just faster doing this, huh? Yeah, it probably is. Okay, so we built the roads. Now it's connected. We need to mine it. That can be a farm. That's all right. Oh, I think we're going to water mill that. Uh -huh. That can be a cottage, sure. Ah, oh, good. This is founded. Uh, pop the borders first. And we have a knight. Actually, Queer Azir is sitting in there. 
why not? Yeah, yeah. Let's get replaceable parts, why not? I only need to spend like 300, that's fine. Everything gets easier once you have the queer seer. Just the facts. Just the facts. Alright, one of these guys, um... Yeah, maybe here so it pops borders. A little faster. I guess I move the seeds up. Yeah, the nice thing about the queer seers is they can catch up with the other units. Now we have a nice little stack here. And this axe, this axe is kind of a badass. Um, we might upgrade him into rifles or something. I'd stay there for now. Okay, so some siege. I think we're going to take these guys and roll up to Dortmund. I think we're going to do that. Roll on up to the city. We'll siege it. Try and take this one. It's on flat ground, so we'll just try to take it with, like, cuirassiers, I guess. Uh, still eight turns to military science. Two, two is going education. And three, that's good to know. Maybe get money off them. Or just take it, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, wine, wine, I know. I have my own wine. I have an extra fur now. I could get 12 gold for it. I could get 12 gold for it. I'm getting more fur, this is not a bad deal. Okay, replaceable parts. Uh-oh. The whole is more than the sum of its parts. Uh-oh. Tutu has decided that we're uh, going to war. Mr. Tutu, how dare you? Yeah, you know what that means. We're going, like, big time uh, into war mode. Again. Uh, no. It's okay for Pakal to be at war. So where did he attack? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. A lot of deals canceled. He attacked here? Oh, no, that's Hitler. That's Hitler. Okay. Any forces uh, coming across like the border? That those are my allies. Oh gosh. Uh, you know what that was? I bet that was a bribe. I bet that was a bribe. That's not cool. Oh, a peace vassal, huh? Oh, Tutu has decided to harbor the fascist viper close to his bosom. But little does he know that that viper will strike. Oh, boy, that will be the death of Tutu. He took Hitler as a vassal. You know, we're not going for Albania. We're going for Tutu and uh, Mexico because they have chosen poorly. <laughs> That's all there is to say. Um, yeah, get queer seers. Settlers, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need more settlers, but we also need more cuirassiers. And 
these are not going to Hitler. We have enough to take out the rest of Hitler, I think. We are going to take Hitler's enablers out. Okay, I'm going to have to renegotiate some stuff. Uh, Tutu's going education. Oh, you're going guilds, are you? Ugh. Okay, there. That, um, finishes the world map, I guess. How many people have education? Only a few. I kind of want to give it to him for military science, but this gold is really tempting. Does anybody have printing press? No. Can I get anybody else to declare on Mr. Tutu? We have enough on our hands right now, okay. She's annoyed. We'll ask Gorbachev. I don't like you enough, okay. Napoleon is at war with Gorbachev. So, yeah, we can't do it with him. San Martin, he doesn't like me. He won't even talk to me. Cardenas and Hitler, yeah. That's obnoxious. We have a big border up here in the north, too, with Mr. Tutu. The good thing is he did not plan. He did not plan to go to war against me. So there's no stack on my border just waiting to get me. Um, that's the good thing. I'm debating if I want to go into slavery and whip some of the, these cities. Because I can change back in five turns. Let's look at the great person production. Case on city again in nine, okay. I guess that's not surprising. It's my national epic spot, you know. It has the great library in it. Yeah, stay there. Um, some of these cuirassiers need to run uh, over here. Let's do that. Um, honestly, a trebuchet could be a defender on one of my porter cities. It wouldn't be the worst idea. Maybe we do that. Um, that's a lot of queerest years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's not even a point to, um, not even a point to, like, sieging this or anything. It's on flat ground. I got winning odds now. Yep. Okay. Good. Good. And that should do it. That should do it. I get a couple workers there. That's real nice. This isn't a bad city. And look, we've got a, an actual sea. Oh, there's a barbarian, uh... Well, these guys are gonna heal. Like, these cuirassiers, and they can take care of the barbarian city, I think. Um... Yeah, we're going to start rolling up to Dortmund here. I think this is Hitler's last city. Yeah, and where is Mexico? It's like here, right? Yeah, okay, so it's behind Tutu. It is behind Tutu. Um, the Haima people, uh, happily, will um, be sort of a defensive buffer against Mexico and Tutu, since they're right there. Um, hmm. There isn't a stack there. Uh, I could spend some money and make that a mace, and I think I will. We need to we need to harden our front line here. We really do. Uh huh. We have happiness issues now. Oh yeah, we do. Troy, Troy is unhappy. Well, we had that wine taken out. Once we get the wine, okay, I can get die from my friend now. 
I can die from my friend now. Um, and I don't need to trade for pig either, so let's see. Uh, next turn I can cancel that, that's right. But this turn I want die. Fur for die? Or gems would be better. Yeah. Gems would be good. Yeah, yeah. So, Pakal. And now, I can give the marble to my vassal. Marble for die. And money. Okay, that's a good deal. Now I'm helping my vassal instead of Pakal, which is always nice. Okay, so big, massive world war going on against fascism. The Ashanti people and the great people of Mako have unfortunately chosen the evil, evil fascist side. And now we have to cope with that somehow. Um, and by coping somehow, I mean we need to build a lot of units and kick their asses. I think that's how we're going to deal. Uh, fur, fur, fur. Um, get this fur camp now. There we go. Hey, we actually built a water mill here. That was kind of pointless, but okay. Um, seems to me like we could be doing something over here. Um, yeah, this is a little risky. Oh, uh, that's a risky place to stand, but he doesn't have a horse there. So I think we're going to... This is, what, 24 hammers and pot and pasig? Okay, we'll do it. Uh, this guy gets out of dodge, though. Um, so yeah, we're going to keep some cuirassiers here on the border. Please get that winery back up. That will help. Um, is our silver hooked up? Uh, no, we haven't finished the mine. Well, we're going to need to road this. Road that. Um, okay, another settler. Another settler is good. We're going to keep doing this. Regardless of what the AI sims are doing, we're just going to keep doing this. Um, there was something up here I wanted to do. Oh, yeah, this... Um, yeah, this is still safe, so I think we do that. Okay, more cuirassiers. Where do we want to stack? Um, yeah, Makati or Kalu Khan would be fine. We can, we can do both, actually. Good. Good. Yes, let's call, call units back. Okay, so Germany was being a little cruel here. That's all right, though. We can take care of it. Oh, oh. These guys don't have enough uh, movement. Okay. Yeah, I thought there must be somebody there who could do it. And then we can promote to heal. forward. Uh, these guys need to heal. And then they're going to go take care of this barb city, I think, because we, they're still barbs. 1350 AD, it's, it's that sort of game. It is that sort of game. Eh, uh, shot crossbows are okay. Uh, these guys maybe go back. We need units over here pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go. 
Well, never a dull moment, that's a fact. You can go take a peek over here. Yeah, Barb City. Uh, somebody needs to stay in the city, it can be you. Same there. These guys, I don't know if we need these guys for Dortmund. Uh, we can still march there. Uh, getting the rifling would be good. Getting the rifling would be pretty tasty. I was hoping to sort of mooch some money off of Mr. Tutu, uh, but he's decided to be horrible. Now we're going to have to take advantage of uh, his horribleness. Uh, we could go nationhood and start drafting rifles. That's something we could do too. Uh, that's quite effective at massing an army pretty quickly. Uh, we could use them for defensive purposes. We do. We have special rifles too. They get uh, a bonus in hills. Is it is it like a natural bonus or is it a promotion? That's something I want to know. Like if I upgrade units to rifles, will I get it? Um, let's see. Civilizations, the Filipino Empire. Look how many civs there are in this, this mod. There's a lot. Uh, the unique unit is... Okay, so it is sort of a built-in native ability. Um, I guess I can upgrade units to rifles, but after I take them to infantry, they won't get this hill strength bonus anymore. Which is sort of a shame. Um... Yeah, they, they, they do note in the uh, Civilopedia here um, <laughs> that this, um, uh, this, this Filipino revolutionary group had the acronym KKK. Um, I, I, I'm a stamp collector, and this revolutionary group also issued stamps, and, and they do indeed feature KKK on them. Uh, it, not at all related to the Klan, that's just, it's just a completely unrelated thing, but it looks a little weird when you look at the stamp and it's, you know, issued by the KKK. Um, so... Yeah, yeah, tech lead's still very large. I mean, Tutu's not going to do anything except, um... Well, except harass me. This is a little obnoxious. But we were going to go on and, and have some fun with somebody else, and he kind of volunteered, I think. So next turn... Oi! Okay, so the Shanti attacked. Uh, where was that? Uh, yes, build more horse units. You built barracks. Let's not even build stables, just horse units. Uh, in Berlin, what do we want? In Berlin, we want a barracks. Okay, Nipa hut first. That's, again, the golden roll here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It failed by eight votes. If I had voted yes, the war would be over with Pakal. But I don't really want Pakal to be at peace, you know? Not really. Um. Oh, okay. Okay, I see what you've done here. Yes, you horrible, horrible person. And he has queer seers too, that's right. You went military tradition. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Um Yeah, it's rifle time. It's rifle time. That's how we're going to get out of this. They don't count as gunpowder units, do they? Uh let's see, Corsairs. They're they're just uh mounted. Uh -huh. Mounted units. Yeah, they're not gunpowder. Unfortunately, I don't get uh, anti-mounted until combat 2. No police state, but I could go, um, I could go vassalage, I could go theocracy. Uh, pacifism is just getting me fast great people. Which is fine and everything. But I have another Golden Age already, just lined up. Um, and maybe I need to just get serious and build units. 
And I can always switch back in five turns at the end of the Golden Age, too. So I think we do it. We're in Theocracy now. Uh, this is also the turn where I can cancel my deal with Shkateget. Um, yeah, pig for deer. I don't need to do that. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get this wine. I don't need to trade for it. I could sell for, uh, for seven gold there. That's not the worst idea, maybe. Except I can't talk to him. That's right. Trade embargo. That's not fun. I have a slight, slight odds there. Yeah. Definitely need units in here. Because he could actually hit me from there with the queer seers. That's obnoxious. I guess uh, turnabout is fair play, right? <laughs> Maybe watermill this. Just just keep that there. We don't really have a use for it. Oh, <laughs> barb unit just kind of in the open. Um, this guy can take a look at Dortmund. Huh. Um, it's not on a hill. I thought it was on a hill, but it's not. Oh, yeah, we have good odds on it. Um... That guy can't do it, but we can, you know what, we'll just take it slow, we'll take it slow. There is no hurry here, we'll just get all of the siege on the hill, nice defensive position, and we'll take out the defenses next turn, and it'll make for a nice easy city capture, and finally, finally this scourge will be defeated, wiped from the map. Because um, that is that is his last a stronghold, right? He's got his bunker in there somewhere. He's like chomping on the carpet. Just going mad because his plans have failed. I just keep going. Just keep advancing. You know your duty. Um... Yeah, these guys need to get out of dodge. He has random catapult there, that's obnoxious. Um... What do I do about the random catapult? Can catapults even pillage? I don't know if they can. Well, I've got a Quirisir up here. I can, I can take it out if it tries something. Yes, you can help with this road. It's done, in fact. Yep. We're just going to mass, uh, mass horse units until we take them out. Um, yeah, we're still settling this, these kind of spots. We are still doing that, that's part of the plan. The Nipa Hut will make them mighty. The Nipa Hut is our friend. Um, I don't think we need another Cuirassier for this Barb City here. It's going to be maybe a couple longbows. But we really, really do need units up here, like, like yesterday. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, do I have any other guys rushing into that city that was just taken? Unbelievable. Yep, you can stand there, be defense. Uh huh. I might want to promote a couple of these guys to pinch. It might make sense. 
This guy can be a knight. Okay, so I have a couple workers here. That's useful. We can get a worker up there. And we can have a worker, like, down here. I guess. I mean, it could help over here. Alright. Uh, Albania is going gunpowder, apparently. That's good for them. Good. So we built barracks. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and build the horse units. That should be a windmill, but there are other things to do here, I think. Um, honestly, Melitos could use some attention. Let's see, two guys there, three guys there. And three guys there. Okay, so I think next turn we just take that back. No problem. Munting Lupa, huh? That's an interesting name. Uh... Yeah, we don't need these guys for the for that war. But getting them over here would be helpful. Getting them over here would be very helpful. Oh, he's just kind of standing out here in the cold, huh? Oh wow, swords! Oh, because they found it on an iron tile. Okay, um, yeah, that's a little goofy. That's a little goofy. I don't think we need to fully heal to take that out, actually. I think we will do just fine with this. Yeah, that should do it. Uh, keep these on the border with the poil. Bombard. Okay, what are the odds like at Dortmund? Oh, of course we lost at 71%. There we go. There we go. And Is that. So was it worth it, Mr. Tutu? I don't think it was. Well, uh, that goal has been achieved. Uh, we've absorbed all this territory. We should probably just get a city here. Right, there could be a workshop or a farm there. <clears throat> Copper mine on the ice. You know, it gets resources, it could build a Nipa hut, and then it would be a perfect little productive city. Just the way we like it. Can we get rifling in two turns? Uh, we could. We might have to run wealth in some places. You know, if we ran wealth everywhere, we might even be able to now. We could. We could not actually do that. Not get it in one turn. Uh, but that's good. I think this is sort of a natural place to end this part. We're almost an hour now. I think we've accomplished a lot. Uh, how much of the map do we actually control? There's so much land on this lakes map. It's bizarre. Um, we're up to 26%, which is not bad. Uh, Tutu and his vassal make up 12%. Um... This individual, who, that's Albania, uh, this, this individual is doing okay with the culture, so we should watch that. Yeah, okay, so I think, I think that'll be the video, I'll see you in the next part.